Do you remember looking at your baby and just oh, thinking, the way they looked oh at my, you? Yes. And the go. way you That's, looked at that baby, and you, you just mean. thought, this is the most beautiful thing in the world, mm-hmm. and you're going to protect it. Yeah. And that yeah. baby no. looked at you, and just, you were all its whole life. You were its world. Yeah. 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 I mean, I remember moments where he would look into my eyes and smile. <laughs> you know, my yeah. my breast mm. was in his mouth, and I would look at him and give a face, and he'd, he'd stop nursing for a minute and smile and then start nursing again. Mm. It's yeah. that no, bond I... that is just so strong, and that's what I use. Every time I get on the plane, first thing I do before the door closes, I sit down and right away I I visualize my child, the hair, his eyes, and I immediately go into this calm state. Yeah, can you remember more about that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Remember the smell? Remember the smell of the baby? The baby's head, yeah. And... And the baby's head, and you're holding that child up to your breast. I mean, how? There's nothing more absolutely incredible than that moment. And see, what happens right. is nature causes you to produce oxytocin because mm-hmm. it wants you to stay calm because you might be sitting there nursing for a long time. And you might, well, if, without the oxytocin, you might think, man, this is taking a long time. I got a lot of things I need to do. I got to go clean the house. I got to go shopping. I got to do, I, I got to go something. I can't keep doing this. So you stop nursing and go do something else. So nature protects the child from that. Like you can have these thoughts that there's other stuff to do, but it doesn't get any power because there's no, there's no stress hormones behind it. So when it sh- right. nature shuts down the stress hormones to keep you chilled out or what, what, what did I say? Me, uh, Patty Mellow? What's that word? Mellow. Oh, mellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's more than mellow because with, when a baby's nursing, there's oxytocin being produced. Yeah. yeah. And so you, it's almost sexual because that somebody's sucking on your breast. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like the most um, mm-hmm. spiritual moment. You're keeping this child alive he's looking at you like i need you it's like the world could fall around me but i would hang on to that child and continue nursing because that's what he needs and that's what i need to do and there's something about that bond i don't know what it is but it well, yeah it, but it does all, two things it causes mm-hmm. bonding and it shuts down the fear system and here's the thing see she was talking about how she gets on the plane she's got the feeling that she's got to run you're not going to have that happening Mm-mm. when you remember no. nursing. Right. You know, I talk to so many people that are like, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm afraid to fly too. And I'm like, like, you can't compare what yours is and what mine is. Like, you're actually getting on a plane. I have not flown. The only reason I am trying to fly now is because my daughter moved to Oregon. If she still lived here and 10 minutes from me, I probably would not be trying to fly. Yeah. But I want to be able to see her. Well, do you and, have trouble with mm-hmm. elevators? Do you have trouble with elevators? Oh, yeah. You, you can, can practice use... with the elevator. Yeah, I was going to say, you Just can practice go with one the elevator. Floor. You can practice with the mall, and that'll show you mm-hmm. that it works, and then that'll make give you some, some, some confidence that it'll work on the plane, too. Hey, Captain Tom, this is Eugene. Hey, Eugene. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, I just wanted to, to interject here because I've been listening I, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. Uh, please excuse me. But I've been listening to her tell her story about going to the mall and yeah. all those panic attacks and how, uh, believe me, there's people on this call, and I'm one of them, that felt just the way you did. And mm-hmm. Captain Tom is absolutely right that you can test this out on an elevator first because I had I used to get freaked out going in elevators or in uh, over bridges or – with large crowds of people or uh, in tunnels, uh, even going into like a parking structure would really yeah. Oh, freak yeah. out. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> um, and so when I first found out about the course, 
um, I, and I bought the book and I started trying out everything that he was teaching. I figured I'd take the little baby steps and I started with the elevators and it worked. And then I went to the bridges and it worked. And, you know, eventually I was able to get on a plane and it worked unbelievably. I mean, it was no stress whatsoever. So, um, Captain Tom is right. You can test this out in what I would call a very safe manner where, you, you know, you can only be, you're only mm-hmm. in an elevator for, a, you know, a minute, two minutes or whatever mm-hmm. versus flying three, four hours. So, yeah, yeah. Last, time we, my life. last time we talked, I think you were saying that people at work were taking bets on whether you were going to fly or not. Yeah, that was true. When I flew from L.A. to Cleveland, there was a lot of money that exchanged hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eugene, this is Patty. How long have you been flying now? I mean, when did that? Um, when did you take your first flight? I'd say I was about two or three years ago. Uh, I took a first sure. flight to see my brother from L.A. to Sacramento, and I immediately called, sure. called Captain Tom, and, and I was – I don't know if you remember that, but I was so excited. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Jesus, you were high as a guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, I know. That. It's the greatest so feeling cool. in the world. I mean, you, it it's isn't like it? the world is lifted off you. And, and it's like I, you I got out of jail. <laughs> How yeah. long did it take yeah. you to like take you that got, first it's flight? It's like you were on death row and you got your sentence commuted and you yeah. got out. I mean, it's, exactly. it's, it was really like that. And, and so I just mm-hmm. wanted to, to chime in and offer you hope that this really, really works. And uh, well, what's, I your have strengthening, <laughs> what's your strengthening exercise? Your girlfriend or it's, it's uh wife? I imagine I imagine my wife on our honeymoon and it's mm-hmm. just the way like you were talking about how your son looked back at you. That's what I yeah. imagine is that the way that she looked at me, yeah, um, yeah. it was just that look, you know, mm-hmm. like, yep. you know, that I can't even uh, explain it, but, and for some yeah. reason, you know, I've been married almost 34 years. I still remember her yeah. looking yeah. at me like that, you know, right, I right. can take that, I can take that one look and fly anywhere I want to fly. So, yes. God, 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 that's God, great. God. Yeah. Does it have to Amazing. be, I, I see it. I see that Eugene and and Pat uh, have examples of other humans. Does he have uh, to be a human? Can he be a place or a Pat, for example? Uh, Pat will produce oxytocin. um, But you see, we got two things we're talking about. Oxytocin prevents the release of stress hormones. And then this connection with another person where you see their face or you hear the quality of their voice or their touch activates the calming system. So we'd like to get both if we can. Okay. Yeah, it really works. I, it really works. I know, I know exactly how you feel. I trust me. We know exactly how you feel. We know exactly how you feel. I have a question for you, Eugene. How did how did you practice on the elevator? Because it's such a short amount of time. Did you think about your wife looking back at you right before you got in the elevator as you're pushing the button? Like how how did how yeah, did you? I, that? I I did that. I I I thought about I thought about her. Um, and the other thing that I did was that the Captain Tom had taught me to do is to. Stay in reality. Okay. Don't let my imagination get the best of me Um, because I was only imagining that something was going to go wrong. Nothing was actually actually going wrong. I was only imagining it to be so. So uh, even saying to myself, this is normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Everything is fine. Helped me calm myself. And, and those are the things I learned from Captain Tom and the, and the, and the image it's helped me. I mean, I find myself calmer in every aspect of my mm-hmm. life. Yes. Every aspect okay. of my life. I yep. mean, me too. Uh, me too. It, it's weird. I mean, <laughs> it once once you learn how to do it, it changes your life. I mean, that's all I can say. It changes your life. I got in an elevator today, and it didn't bother me a bit at all. 
I've spent so many years just avoiding everything that I've just, yep. you know, yes. like <laughs> two years ago, we went to Chicago for a wedding and the hotel we had to stay in the first floor where they had rooms was to the 10th floor. So I asked for a room on the 10th floor, but I climbed every flight. I would not take the elevator. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to go out on a boat for the rehearsal dinner. I was, I did it, but I hadn't, and I was planning if I had to jump up door, I was going to do it because you You probably know know where every exit sign or every exit of a building is. You probably know where all mm-hmm. the stairs are down out of a high building. You know all those things. Mm-hmm. I mean, believe yeah, me. it's extremely tiring because, like, yes, you're always be thinking, you know. But you don't have I to don't do that in. anymore. You don't no, need to do that anymore. You don't need to do that without no. checking to make sure there's a We've handle been on there. the other side. <laughs> We've been there. But once you learn mm-hmm. this technique, you won't. Do you suggest reading the book also? Well, yeah, I but, do. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, I, I do. Patty, Patty, and and Eugene say the book is helpful, but the main thing is we need to do a counseling session to make sure we get this exercise set up right and get you started mm-hmm. on, on doing the practice session so that you actually have it take care of you automatically. You don't have to do anything during the elevator or during the mall. What I had a fear of was freaking out, and I think that's what you have a fear yep. of, is freaking out. Yeah. You well, know, yeah. you yeah. suspect yeah. you're going to freak out, but you just don't know how bad it is or how bad yeah. it can be, and yeah. that fear is what keeps yeah. you off the plane. Yep, he's that's right. What, that's yeah, what you need to understand, that you yeah. have a fear of being afraid. Yeah, and, and Eugene, well, the thing is, you, you even think that you – you just don't know what would happen if you have the right. panic attack. Yeah. You might I die. Mean, you might you go think... crazy. You might never come back. That's right. Right. And you think you you might end up being a quivering bowl of jelly lying on the floor of the plane, you know, right. you know with your hands tied behind your back. You don't know what's going to happen to you. And that is the fear that's keeping you off an elevator. It's the fear mm-hmm. of keeping you out of the mall. It's the fear that's mm-hmm. keeping you off the bridges it's a fear, fear that's keeping you off the plane it's not the plane it's not the elevator it's your fear of freaking out that's what mm-hmm. you need to learn how to conquer that's what i had to learn how to conquer that's what she said mm-hmm. she didn't want to have that feeling again doesn't want to risk and i think that. you don't too, want that feeling it's terrifying terrifying <laughs> watching and they, they, you they did that it, you don't know what it feels like you know you make up your mind i'm gonna do it you, i'm yep. just gonna do it um, you know, I, once I was having some anxiety and I was sitting there thinking about it and I just went and got my luggage and everything and I put it in the trunk and I said, I'm going, I don't care what I'm going. And as soon as I put the luggage in the trunk, the anxiety left. Well, you make that commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It was gone. It's shutting know, off it's your amygdala. So, That's how you got yeah. to learn to shut off the amygdala. You got to shut it off. Look, let me ask you guys, because this has been a pretty, pretty great session. If, um, if it's okay with you or not to take this segment of what we did tonight and, uh, and put it on, on the, on YouTube. So if anybody doesn't want to do it, let me know and I'll either take you out or we, if necessary, just won't do it. Anybody, uh, won't fine with ex- me. Okay. And, fine with uh, me. I'm okay with it. Okay. All right. Very good.